Grab the snake and hold him fast. Don't let him go. Grab him quick or you won't last if you're too slow. Grab the snake and hold him fast. Don't let him go. You know, that nursery rhyme is starting to grow on me. Maybe a few hundred more times and I'll actually like it. Grab him quick or you won't last if you're too slow. Grab the snake and hold him fast. There's Don't no one here to go. listen to you anymore. Stop reading. Grab him quick or you won't last. Talking to you. Too slow. Grab the snake and hold him fast. Don't let him go. Give me that book. Grab him quick or you won't last. If you're too slow. Who are you? I'm the nanny of this family. I take care of the children while the master does his research. In fact, I should be reading to the children right now as they go to sleep. Have you seen my book? Why do you read the same rhyme over and over? I read until the children have gone to sleep. I must read now. Where is my book? I can't find my book. Who do you read to? To the children. Aren't they precious? I've taken care of children most of my life. I love to read to them. I should be reading to them now. Would you accompany me? I know where your book is. You know where my book is? Please take me to it. I must read to the children. They can't go to sleep without their rhymes. They need me, you see. Would you accompany me? Go grab that snake.
I talked to no one. I wait for my lord. He will be here soon to take me with him. Be gone. My lord Clytus, I knew you would return. I have been faithful. As you asked, I spoke to no one about you. I have waited for you to take me back to the Colossus so that we can complete what we started. Take me with you, my lord, please take me with you. Do you know the way through the catacombs? Of course I do. A dwarf never forgets his way, especially through underground tunnels. I can find my way to the Colossus blindfolded. I certainly hope so. Your eyes are so weak that you might as well be wearing a blindfold. My eyes are fine. It's just that the world has grown a bit blurry lately. You look like hell. Are you sure you can walk? I'm not gonna carry you. These legs will carry me as far as you wish to go. My devotion to my lord will buoy me. You sat here for thousands of years waiting for me? I've waited ever since you sent me here. I knew you would return to take me away. I always knew. Did you make that statue in the clock tower? Is that supposed to look like me? A statue? A statue? I carve statues of you all the time in your service. You said that it pleased you. I hope I haven't done anything to make you angry. I might have made a statue when I first came here. I can't remember. Forgive me, my lord, it's all so foggy. What about the scepter it holds? Is it an exact replica of the original? You spoke about a scepter. Every time we entered the catacombs, you said that you would make a scepter that held the fragment of the Colossus. We haven't taken the fragment yet. How could I have duplicated a scepter that doesn't yet exist? Take me to the catacombs, my lord, and we will extract the fragment you need to make the scepter. I ask only to serve you. Of course. Come with me now. We shall go there immediately. Yes, my lord. Of course, my lord. Let us go. I'm ready. I thought you might be coming back here, and you might need me. The rest of my people are on their way to storm the palace. I came ahead to aid you. I hope you don't mind. I see you're climbing in the social circles.
the Colossus! Break the rune! Break the rune! My lord commands me! Someone has entered the catacombs without authorization. The Dynast is coming. Wait for Clytus. He's the only one who knows the way through the catacombs, and he wants this intruder himself. We've got the stinking rebel trap now. Only Clytus knows the way through the catacombs. He'll be here in a second to track that lowlife down and kill him. You hear me, rebel? You're going to die! Patron, I knew you would be trouble. I should have killed you when I first had the chance. And the young prince as well. It seems that I have been far too generous lately. I'll have to rectify that.
So, Haplo, you are a patron. I know about your race. Balthazar taught me well. This should make us enemies, but you have helped me. You have helped my people. Perhaps you did this for your own reasons, but I owe you a debt of gratitude, and I still consider you my friend. I thought that this was my most valued possession. Now I know that I value my subjects, my world, more. I want you to have it, to make certain that you do not forget us. If Abarak is to survive, we must be linked to the other worlds, and you are the only one that can do this. Take the seal piece. Go back to your ship, through Death's Gate. Save this world, Haplo, my friend. We need you. Now I must clean this palace of the filth Clytus left here. My people should be in position by now. It appears that these Sartan have done our job for us. By using necromancy unchecked for thousands of years, they've decimated their own race. I'm sure it's fair to assume that there are only a few stragglers remaining in the other realms, like your Zifnab, if any are left alive at all. The survivors in Abarak don't sound strong enough to resist us. In fact, they are in the midst of a civil war. Once the world is reformed, the resulting chaos will be perfect for our army to walk in and destroy both sides. You've done your job well. There's only one world left, and I hope what you will discover there will be no surprise. Many coffins filled with dead Sartan. If you haven't already, take the amulet that your prince was foolish enough to give you and transfer it to your steering stone. Go to Celestra and bring back its seal piece. We are very close, Haplo. I can feel it. You said that it was necromancy unchecked that killed the Sartan. Does that mean you'd consider using it with limits? Do you understand the potential of that spell? An army whose numbers never diminish, whose members get stronger after they die. What force could stand against it? Naturally, we'd have some other deaths to compensate, but they'll be manageable. After a few skirmishes, the mere threat of our army would be enough to enjoin surrender. Then we wouldn't need to use the spell anymore. Until that happens, there are always losses in war. 
Prince Edmund placed his faith in me to save his world. That's why he gave me the amulet. This is from the race that consigned you to an eternity of torment. And he asks you for help. Are you seriously considering his plea? Look at his situation. His people squabble among themselves like mensch. Even now, they are in the throes of a civil war. Naturally, he wants you to help him. You represent the greatest threat his kind has ever known. He must not have realized what his amulet would mean to us, but it is our responsibility to take advantage of it. You don't just represent yourself. You are the vanguard for our entire race. Don't let your emotions get in the way of your mission. I'd hate to have to cut it short. Look deep inside yourself. You'll find that you are a patron. You were whelped by the labyrinth and fires of hate. Hate for the accursed Sartan that put you there. I can trust you, Haplo, because you are a reflection of me. You are my son, as all patrons are my children. Have you learned anything new about the six Sartan devils that you were researching? It happens that I'm very close to finishing my research. I have linked four of the devils to the spells that they were responsible for, and the other two aren't long in coming. Unfortunately, one of those two created the Reformation spell, so I cannot stop now. That's the spell I really need. The ones I uncovered, the original Sundering, something called the Interconnection, etc., are useless to me. But as I said, I'm very close. That's enough for right now. I'd like to talk to you later if you don't mind. Very well. I'll be here.